Radio. Hello subscribers, welcome to a live stream of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. We're starting a new run tonight. It's going to be Fortress against Seven Computers. I generated a map already so that I could remove bogus problems with the map. Let's see, random map. Show random maps. Here we go. Uh, sometimes it generates bogus maps that has areas you can't get to. I deleted all the portals because I hate when the computer teleports around and cheats. So, taking care of that. I did not remove any of the spells. Probably should have, but I haven't. Alright, we're being Fortress. Hey Gary, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? This is the swamp. Yeah, this is the swamp, the fortress. Uh, we're going to pick this guy. Specializes in organs. Hey, Jimmy, welcome. How are you doing? Cheat the cheaters, that's right. Okay. So. Let's create some stuff. Let's get our gold flowing first.
What hero did we get? Knowles? Well, he does have leadership. This guy's actually not bad. He specializes with offense. He has advanced offense right off the bat. Hmm. Oh, I'm not sure. I guess we'll go with the Null Specialist. You're doing well, Gary? Glad to hear that. I am doing great. Thanks for asking. You hated going against Gorgons. Not hated with fear. Yeah. Yeah, the mighty Gorgons are really rough. Indeed. Lots of archers. They would wreck us pretty hard. Board of Pixies. Oh, they're blocking that path. Okay. Word of Skeletons. Maps kind of closed on us. Wow. Ah, oh, it looks like I missed the portal. I just see one. I see one right here. All right. Makes me wonder if I missed more. I try not to look at the map. Because I don't want it to be spoiled. But I wouldn't be surprised if I miss something. like cheating's back on the menu. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that portal's going to lead to, because if there's only one, I'm not sure how that works. Okay, we can't take those on yet. Need to get better units. Mage Guild, Marketplace, Blacksmith. Let's start with the Blacksmith. Let's send this guy over here first. He's looking for a breastplate of wood. This is where one of the portals was that I deleted. You can see it left a big gap there. So we can't get through those doors. Let's 
scholar. He may end up giving us something really bad. We don't know what it is. You like our treehouse? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet one, isn't it? Hmm. Can't get through there. Guess we know where everything's at. Plus one knowledge. Nice. Mage tower. Okay, so there's got to be a tower around here. Oh, we can't get to that. It's all blocked off. Okay, so our maps are really limited. Got our gold flowing now. Castle. Okay, so we're on day six. Let's get lizard men going. I'll just shoot some of these down. Hey, Cody and Boat Ladder, welcome. How are you guys doing? Yeah, it has been a while, Cody. What have you been up to? And hello again, Boat Ladder. Day seven. Gonna park him here. Thanks for giving a shout out to Cody there, Jimmy. And okay, we need to find our wood. Kill these. Oh wait, I need to buy a spell book real quick. Stone skin and slow, those are good ones. You're doing well? Glad to hear it, Cody. Been rolling a ton this month. Harvest season is always really busy. Gotcha. Okay, we open that up. Kind of limited. Let's go here. Hey, Moody, welcome back. How are you doing? Got a spell book. So at least see our lumber. Which looks like it's up here.
Okay, we can kill a few things now. Skeletons? Yeah, we should probably do that. Thanks for giving Moody the shout out. Well, Moody's on a 15 stream watch streak. Nice. The power's only one. Letters on a five stream on stream. Hey Jeff, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Yeah, that was pretty good. We only lost two gnolls. Hero did we get? Level one. Mm. Well, it's a free hero, right? Hobgoblins. It doesn't really give us anything. What about over here? Centaurs. Archers. Yeah. stream this evening, Moody, Wizardry 7. Cool. Jeff says, I don't know if I can trust Darkstorm not to kill me in my sleep. <laughs> what? I'm missing the reference. Is he this guy here? Ah, that's his name. Okay. I'm like, who the heck is Darkstorm? <laughs> yeah. His lightning bolts over his head. He, he does look pretty creepy, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, I don't even know who I hired. I just rescued him from a prison, actually. I don't even know his name. Okay, uh, let's have you get some increase. Here we go. Gorgons. Now we're talking. Step in rest. <laughs> Jeff says, interviewing for D4J's team must be really easy. Well, in the beginning, you'll take whoever you can get. Lots of dwarves. Ooh. And we're hidden.
<laughs> Jeff says, huh, what's your name? Anyway, the best with the lightning eyes is good. With me, you're hired. <laughs> that's right. That's how we do it. Basic tactics. That's actually really good for this for fortress because they don't have much movement. I will take on those gogs. I just need more spell points. Okay, day four. Yeah, let's upgrade these. Should be able to kill quite a bit with those, actually. Definitely not swordsmen. Let's split like this. Or ten operate. That doesn't make any sense. The Gorgon should have got healed. That's a tent scam. says your other guys are just two random dogmen yeah they're hyenas not dogs and then Jeff says also mr. Forte I regret to inform you but I was watching a mathematically worst <laughs> NES game video Bentley Towers was very high on the list I don't think that's a surprise at all there's a lot of people that hate Bentley Towers they're just, I mean, it's an opinion, right? Don't mind people having their own opinion. This one hasn't been weakened yet.
Oh, they could reach me. What a scam. Different strokes for different folks, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me at all if people aren't fan of deadly dogs. <laughs> Reaching scam. Oh, this is the lightning specialist guy. Chain lightning. He's so ridiculously strong. Advanced armor. Maybe tomorrow, maybe. so limited on this map. We need to get our gold going. Where's Castle? We're short on wood and gold. <laughs> Cody says you don't have to be a math expert. He's talking about the deadly powers. Not being great. Even all these gems, I need I need other resources. Gems are not helping me. Alright, now we gotta save up for gold. Low.
finally an attack skill up there. I do want to get the gold, the increase for the thousand gold is going to put me back. Five Gorgons waiting. I need to save up for the bag. broke through. It's not a fortress. Alright, we finally have enough. Must be undead around there because they it caused the uh, fog of war to appear. Okay, the wyverns. Mm, it's a tough call. Chase that guy down. Not really happy with this hero, but. They got two heroes coming around. Okay, so he conquered a, a tower as well. He's got three heroes? Oh, man. We're screwed. Okay. Upgrade these. Get down there in a minute. Need more units. He's going to end up running. I know that's what's going to happen. Let's bring some fodder with us. <laughs> Jimmy says, I believe.
Yeah, he's got a lot of power, but he's out of spell points. We've got higher defense. Wish I had haste. Oh wow, that was a big stack of... I thought that said 8. There's 26 stone golems. Holy moly. How do you get such a big stack of these? Stack scam. Golem scam. <laughs> hey Dixon, welcome. How are you doing? Yeah. This is not going well. It's a huge stack. He has two heroes right by here too, which sucks. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. We're stuck in the middle. Sulfur. Yeah, 
Cody says it's kind of funny when there are a bunch of monsters on the field and someone says, yeah, I think I'll attack this clock tent instead. Yeah, they love to do that when they know that they're going to lose. That's a telltale sign that they've lost. that other guy wants to get enough units. Wyvern Monarchs are so good for poison. Okay, it's day seven. Let's wait. Oh, a plague. That's not good. Dang. Population gets halved when that happens. Okay. Well, let's go after him. Cody says, well, at least they don't go down without taking something with them. Yeah, that's why they do that. Blues abandoned them. Okay. It's kind of weird. I think... I think that happened because of... Uh, he was in the middle and Undead took over his base. these or do we go after the player? Let's go up here. We've been here already. Spirit of Oppression. She's gonna run, she's gonna cast something on me. That'd be enough, I don't think, to kill it. Now she'll cast and run, watch. She didn't run. Why did she not run? Freddy says, I know it's supposed to be the best heroes in my magic game, but are there any others worth playing? I'm looking for something new to play. Um, I like all of them, to be honest. Um, even some of the newer ones are cool. So yeah, 
The only one I have not played is four. And supposedly they're coming out with a new one soon. Don't know any of the details on it though. Picks are like five, two, and two's his favorite. You've played one and two more than three, Cody? Yeah, they um all those are good. Yeah, six is good. They're all just different though. So I need to find sulfur somewhere. Actually, what hero is available? Jerwolf. Uh... No, a garbage. Max things about four through six. Yeah, I haven't played four just because I heard that your hero is part of the army, which actually might end up working out better, but I have not played that. And then uh, five through six, five and six are very buggy. That's the only bad thing I would say. About them. They're Ubisoft. Tells you a lot. Basic air. I have no air spells right now, but if I got haste, that would be great. Finally, we got plus one spell power. Lots of foreign demons guarding just a scroll. Ubisoft might not be around much longer. Really? What did you hear about it, Cody? I know nothing about it.
Attack four, defense twenty one. Not bad. Basic wisdom, we have to get that to do. Not finding it, I'll take it. Really, the only building left is the Hydro Pond. I'm just waiting for Sulfur to him to know the farm. Cody says the last three major releases lost on a bunch of money in their upcoming game is already facing legal action in Japan for being culturally inappropriate or something. Historically inappropriate might be more accurate. Oh, wow. Yeah, that company is something else. Dwelling population increases. Right. Get the Gorgon. Northern Monarchs. Need money to get most of them. Okay, we need spell points back on our main hero. Otherwise, I would just to go deliver these. Alright, this is our Gorgon here. I do want to get him back. Gary says, they're coming back like Red Lobster. I've got a feeling. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, is this guy we defeated? Number four woods. Hmm. Yeah, this is the guy we defeated. So he has good power. Can I see what spells he has? Doesn't show me. Oh, he has a ring. Okay, we're picking him up. Yeah, he's got a ring of vitality. Rib cage. Shield, slow stun skin. Okay. He does have haste. Good. Uh, 
Alright, we'll rest down so they get spell points back. I think big game companies have gotten too big to make anything right. I don't think you can make a good a game so good that it's worth hundreds of millions in production costs. To make more money with Tetris. Yeah, true. We've followed the same formula so long too. It's great that there's a lot of independent games being made, you know? Okay, get your spell points back. Jimmy says, but think of the millions D Forte is going to make with his gold box remaster. The zero, you mean? <laughs> zero. Okay. we send you now maybe breakthrough up here Sulfur. We have enough sulfur now. <laughs> Jimmy says zero is a number. It is indeed. The letter says true to Cody's statement. Too much time and money spent. On frame rate and loading times, it's like they forgot about fun gameplay. Yeah, I feel like there's so many casual gamers that just like that kind of stuff. And that's what they go for, because they get the most uh, bang for their buck that way. Really. So many people want that kind of stuff. But that's where the independent game developers come in. Second hand, welcome. How are you doing? Since most of the biggest flops are due to poor management and lack of retention of staff, most developers are contractors and they're on the job for a few months and they spend a third of that time being on board. Yeah, they just keep doing the same types of games over and over and over.
But I mean, we're spoiled too for choice. It's a really good thing. The customers are so spoiled. We have so much selection. Hydra. Here he says gaming basically always been niche. I mean like the gold box games, not like solitaire or whatever. No offense to those games, I like and enjoy them. Uh, it's a good question, Gary. I think, yeah, there's two categories. There's just, like, casual gamer type games that appeal to almost everyone. Or there's niche. The good news is, like, Patreon and that kind of stuff, crowdfunding, has allowed some stuff to be made that never would have been made based on people's desires, you know? Instead of what a big company wants to put out. Not all of them are successful, of course, you guys know that, but at least that has opened up a little bit. Second hand says Veilguard had a lot of those old Bioware developers and writers leave. Cody says I think the casual player base is whittling down. The big success stories these days are usually pretty crunchy games. Sure, Gary. Yeah, I don't know. It's I feel like there's so much content for and I'm not talking about just games. There's just video content entertainment it's so saturated out there arthur c clark's prediction of the future is coming true as as usual the guy predicted so many things he, he said that basically it'll get to a point where like in the 60s he predicted it'll get to a point where there'll be so much stuff available that you won't be able to consume it all like you couldn't even you spend your whole life trying to find what you wanted you wouldn't even have time for that which is it's really scary to think about it's insane we're gonna get to that point fairly soon i think So then you just have to find content creators that you like and just kind of follow them, you know, pretty much your whole life. <laughs> it's really weird. Obsidian gargoyles. Let's do it. We do need to move Lizard Man down here. Cody says, Watch Mojo top 10 videos. You haven't covered. <laughs> Gary says, like, I guess that Doom was an indie game pretty niche, but blew up and became an exception. Yeah, and, and timing is a big thing. Timing is huge in the gaming industry. And if you just, like, Doom was there at the right time where PCs needed that kind of performance because they, they were crappy compared to consoles. So Doom was just well-timed. Had it happened at a different time, it would not have done well. 
That's at least my opinion. Second Anne says, at the time, gaming was all pretty much. Yeah, that's true. I mean, arcades. Look at arcades, how long they were around. That was a very niche time. Uh, let's get basic intelligence. Yeah, Commander Keen was a uh, shareware. That wasn't even like a game software that was sold directly. Some shareware games made, made out well, and most did not. Barry says, well known amongst PC enthusiasts or gamers who were a pretty niche crowd at the time. I'm only going to say, yes. The, like the 80s, well, in the late 70s, very niche gamers. The consoles, I think, brought forward a lot more. Atari, uh, that was pretty short-lived, actually. Same with Amiga. Nintendo really kicked things off. I'm no game historian. Okay, what do we got? Stand up for our mage guild, let's see. And second level spells are so bad. Teleport, that's a good one. That's the only good one. Second answer is the notoriety with the demonic imagery and violence helped a lot. Are you talking about like Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> or are you talking about something else? Cody says everyone should read Masters of Doom. It's a great book on the history of ID that covers a lot of aspects about the industry from the Apple II to Pentium. Yeah, Doom was just an example Gary was talking about, yeah.
There we go. Zero losses. Oh, it still doesn't open that up. Okay, let's see if we can go around, maybe. We have no more buildings except for the upgraded hydras. That's all we have. Fortress is tough. Tough to play as. enough to take that. Probably not. I don't know what the hero's strength is, and they have good defense, and I'm low on spell points. It's day six, though. Let's wait. Wait down here. Lots of dwarves, we'll take this one. Get an extra item. So the shields plus two defense, nice. Throng of infernal troglodytes guarding a red dragon flame tongue. That's kind of cool. Day seven. Purple's vanquished. Oh boy. Time to go adventure with some Chaos Hydra. Teleport to Hydra. This is a lot of swordsmen. Ouch.
place and not have a mirror to play. Yeah. Dang it. Okay. Basic water. Advanced wisdom. Basic intelligence. We opened up the dragon utopia. Now we just have to get strong enough to go kill that. <laughs> we really don't have that many units available. Plus two attack and defense, nice. Can't clear that out yet. Crypt yet, anyway. Here. Let's see if I can sneak down to this one. I think I made it. I don't think he can make it back to this place. Oh, really? Scaled. One step. Gary says it all went down with Warcraft Adventures, Lord of the Plans, right? I'm not sure what you're talking about, Gary. Oh, you replied late to the chat, I got you. The Cody's statement about the rising ball.
<laughs> we can't attempt. This is according to the book, the first chapter of the fall section is called Bobby. He says Warcraft was going to have point and click adventure game or something like that, and I guess it got cancelled. Weird. Yeah, that was expensive, but we got another base is very important. Yeah, second level spells are awful. Oh, he's going to try to run for his base again. Is he going to turtle? He's got decent units. Base 6. Nothing I can really boost here. Yep, he's going for it. <laughs> Got nine wyvern monarchs, it's a lot. can reach so I guess we should be fine. Too bad I don't have the spell. Seventeen Gorgons, oh boy.
We already got a shield on him, right? No, we don't. Really? I don't think we can survive this. Maybe. We can keep them in the moat there. It's gonna be close. Dimension door. Oh, wow. Nice. We got the cheat spell where we can teleport now. Crystal we're short on. Ah, oh, somebody just teleported down here. Ah, oh, that's where I missed one of the gates, okay. This is probably a good place to stop. We're in okay shape. I would not say we're in good shape by any means. I don't I haven't seen enough on the map. I mean we've we've got this area down here. So it's good that it's kind of isolated. But there could be quite a bit up here. Like, one guy may have three or four bases, so <laughs> later on we may run into trouble with that number. Hey, Saz! Catch you on the tail end, but always good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.